on Instagram, there's this mentality that everyone seems to follow. I like to call it fake it till you make it. On the app, everyone is lit. It seems like they can never be a bad moment. People are smiling, posting a picture of their dogs, the parties they went to, what they're eating, the flyers trip. You won't believe that a lot of celebrities that people worship are also faking it. Soldier Boy himself posted a picture of a hundred dollar stack of cash for people to later find out it was white papers between them. Bow Wow's skills at playing himself was really impressive when he posted a picture of a private jet he intended on traveling on. A few hours go by and behold, a fan will post a video of him in the back of a plane on a regular flight. Hey y'all, come look at this! As it turns out, Bow Wow downloaded the photo he posted on Instagram from Google. This left a bad stain on Bow Wow's reputation and people will start to notice more loopholes and more pictures. Like this stack of cash he posted on Instagram, which fans later found out also was not his. It was a picture he got from Google. Bow Wow was just posing on Instagram like it was his. And embarrassingly, he got caught. There's this YouTube channel that has a barrage of videos where he goes in the mall and he tests people's ice. But Dior, it, it, it better, bruh. Ten fans on my neck. Matthew, the owner of the channel, finds a lot of people in the mall faking it to the extreme. Y'all got ice on you, I see. Y'all got the ice? Where the ice at? So the ice oh, is. Uh, damn! That's real? Yeah. Just like the earring. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> you today we gonna test this out. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... Listen, I'm gonna be wearing fake jewelry forever. You feel me? I, I, I'm a, I'm gonna be wearing shit that don't cost a lot of money, no matter how much money I make, because it all looked the same. I mean, of course, maybe here and there I'll have a few things, but man, diamonds is such a scam. And just, you know, you look at like uh, the other day, actually, we covered. I think it was Hermes. Um, they made so much money that they paid like all of their night, almost twenty thousand employees almost uh, $5,000 in bonuses, which is great. That's fantastic. That's good on them. But again, just in terms of that's how much profit they're making off of the idea of luxury when really it's just cloth. You know what I'm saying? You're just paying for the brand name. It's just capitalism. Ah, what, what? I have nothing against jewelry. Not all of us can afford real diamonds. But you are it, it better, bro. Ten fans on my neck. I won't cash out on diamonds trying to pretend to look rich too, you know. I'll wear my fake shit. Going broke to look rich. This bar is going to trigger a lot of people, but I must get it out the way. There are people out here buying expensive bags just not to have no money in those expensive bags. Basically a bag that was bought for $1,000, but has less than $10 in the bag. <laughs> Some information about America you should know. Miami, Florida is always the hub of vacations in the springtime. A lot of early adults age 19 to 25 go to Miami for spring break. This is like an every year thing. It was another chaotic night on Miami Beach. The city of Miami Beach is currently under a state of emergency. This is like an every year thing. These folks leave their state and fly to Miami for a week or a weekend of fun. When I went, it was extremely superficial, right? I'm talking. Hey, yeah, Miami is one of the most ridiculous places on earth. It's also amazing. It's it's very fun. You know, there's there's great food. There's great things to do. But everybody there is balling. Everybody there is rich as a motherfucker. Everybody, it, it, it's really and and it's so funny too because so much of like the red pill community gets all of their like perspective on the world from Miami. Like this this is. This is what women are like everywhere. This is, and, and then most white women in Miami aren't like most women in Miami. At the end of the day, these motherfuckers just suck with women and, and, and hate women. But it, Miami is 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 quite a hilarious place, as is Florida. Bunch of cars everywhere, you know, people driving the engines, music videos being shot on top of cars. It felt like another version of LA. When you think of Miami, you think of fast cars, flashy yeah, got the clubs, you know? It was like a competition of ego. Who got it best? Who got it the most? To demonstrate how it was, pay attention to this video I've seen on TikTok. All of the best cars come to South Beach on spring break. What you're seeing here is a bunch of early adults in cars they don't own. Yeah, and Kevin Samuels also was twice divorced, but he spoke with so much authority. 
you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, maybe you shouldn't be getting all your relationship advice from a guy who was divorced twice before he turned 50. But yeah, that's what the internet's like. Just pretending, not knowing that the real people with wealth may be on his bus in between them. Recordings just got better. Hey, it's Dana from Make your money, my so brother. So excited to announce that. I'm not against fun or anything, right? I'm the most fun person to be around. We all know the real person that's making money is the person who owns all those cars they're renting. That person is banking off the fact that people just want to show off their ego with these luxurious high-end cars. Ego and competition has ruined society in a way. Believe it or not, there are people out there who would draw the rent money just to carry it around like it's pocket change. <laughs> Look at fast fashion. Fashion over, shame. Hugo Boss, Zara, and more. These fashion brands are called fast fashion because like fast food, they're very fast. They're made with cheap materials to stay on top of the trends. Most of us that buy these clothes only wear it a handful of time and we throw it away, causing a lot of these clothes to end up in landfills. In 2018, 17 million tons of clothes ended up in landfills around the world. Around 100 billion garments were produced and 33% of 100 billion ended up in landfills with most of these clothes being thrown out just a year after people buy them. It's not just us regular people out here trying to look rich. Celebrities do this as well. But with them trying to look rich, they end up in some type of financial turmoil down the line. Rappers going broke. What you're looking at right now is Soulja Boy's remote Lamborghini. He bought a regular toy Lamborghini and encrusted it in diamonds. Why? I guess he had the money to waste. Soulja Boy bought a remote control Lamborghini and bedazzled it. And it drives too. I can't make this up. This Lamborghini toy is one of Soulja Boy's most precious possessions. Rappers, they be <laughs> funny sometimes. Birdman is the founder of Cash Money Records, a music label company. Birdman is notorious for spending huge. He once took a loan of $12 million to buy a house worth $14 million. After he took the loans, he couldn't make the payments back. He would fall behind on payments and ignore the bank, so the bank would tell him to vacate the house. The bank was going to make their money back by taking back the house. After the bank took back the house, they also seized everything in the house. Because of Birdman's affection for designers, he came back. And what did he come back for? Four bikes. Four bikes designed by Gucci. I go back for the Gucci bikes too. You know, you don't see that often. Just after this, Birdman will be faced with a ton of financial issues. But how can I forget Future? If socks were stocks, he'd be balling. Future spent a hundred grand alone on socks. Which takes me to my next embarrassing point, designers. One thing about humans, we want to be accepted. So we'll wear designer brands to signal to other people that this is my stand in the society. Balenciaga on their website is selling these ugly shoes for $1,100. Some people won't think twice before they swipe their card on this website and filling their shipping information. Whereas I think these shoes, they belong in the same landfill as fast fashion. I'm not the market though. I can hate this all I want. People will still buy that shoe just because it's expensive. But who is in this market and why buy this shoe? When I sit and think of the reasons we buy designers, I believe they convey a sense of status, wealth, and exclusivity. If you have an iPhone or an Android, look at it for a second. Wherever it may be, just take a quick glance at it. That piece of technology you have right there, it's a form of designer. Society today uses that thing as a form of status symbol. Any object that people use to determine people's social and economic standing in the society is known as a status symbol. For example, rappers use their chain as a form of status symbol. Boy, that chain cost me about 40000 with the tennis. Sadly, the type of phone you have now can now signal to other people you're standing in the society. Nowadays, our society will estimate an individual's financial well-being by the type of phone they're using. If you have an iPhone, congratulations. You're put in a high-income group just because of the type of phone you use. Sadly, our generation is a generation so obsessed with materialistic things like the Apple products that they would judge your social class based on the type of phone brand you Listen, I know, look, this makes me think of Rolexes, which to me are 
fucking ugly and ridiculously overpriced. Like even if again, I'm 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 not a materialistic person at all, you know. So I really, at the end of the day, can only speak for myself. But like, you'd be like Rolex would be like seventy eight thousand, thirty five thousand, and then I have watches that are like fifty dollars that look better. Like it, 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 it's just like it's all an idea. You feel me? And if, and a lot of the time, people get these things. And again, it's not even just that they still aren't happy or satisfied. They get these things, and people still don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like just because you get this stuff, don't mean that people are gonna hold you to a high regard. Actually, you know what I'm saying? Like you have the iPhone is at the top of the social class, and if you have an Android, there are people out there who would consider you an outsider just because your emojis are fat and your text bubble is green. I didn't start using an iPhone till my freshman year of college. Unlike other kids my age throughout high school who had the fancy iPhone, I had an Android Motorola. It was one time in English class when I got a notification on my Android phone. And instead of the iPhones, I'd get the Android notification sound. Because of a society that wanted to, you know, one up each other, I found myself cringing at my notification sound. And this social class thing is becoming so disgraceful that a girl wants to ghost a guy for having an Android. And some are even going as far as to list the iPhone as a relationship requirement. Another thing. Yeah, I'll always be telling people, man, like, don't, don't be taking shit like that that people say online so seriously, man. People just be talking out their ass. Be like, oh, he has to be six feet tall. He, he, take, I'm six foot six. Take it from somebody who is all of those things. Like, that's bullshit. Like, no. Like, oh, I, he has to be this. If he doesn't make this, if he, like, shut up. If she likes you, she'll fuck with you. If she likes you, she'll want to be with you. Shut up. I always wonder is why a lot of wealthy people wear regular looking clothes while people who are not very rich tend to dress more exotically. I think it boils down to this. The wealth crave security, the rich crave luxury, and the poor they crave image. The less we have, the more naturally we want, and until we attain it, we don't realize how meaningless it is. All this to say, money talks. Well, the whispers, but something that doesn't talk or whisper, but leaves you in a wheelchair, BBLs or Brazilian butt lifts is a type of surgery done to enhance the shape of someone's butt. They're done most of the time to enlarge the butt and give it a more rounded shape. This procedure is when a surgeon removes fat from other parts of your body and injects the fat into different parts of your butt. On you know, my ex from several years ago, uh, stunningly beautiful woman but um she she got a bbl and then the pro oh, yo that uh you butcher yourself the healing process of that i hated that shit because she was in so much pain like crazy like oh it's it's crazy it, it's crazy i'll talk about that in a sec so you get the desired shape and size after the procedure you just don't walk on casually you're in extreme pain. In case you didn't know, the BBL is the most dangerous cosmetic procedure to date. Out of 692 surgeons, about 3% of them, that's about 21 if my math is correct, experience a patient death following a BBL. Because it's cheaper, a lot of girls would travel overseas to have their surgeries done. Then on their flight back, due to the extreme pains from the surgeries... <laughs> the yes, it was filmed pre-Elon Twitter owner, for sure. It, this, yeah, this this video is, uh, I think, six months old. This woman won't be able to sit down on the plane properly. So I got on my flight today, and everyone seated around me just had surgery. They didn't know each other. Remember, ladies, if you're getting a BBL, don't forget about the flight home. Just hear me out. How about instead of BBLs, how about loving the body God has blessed you with? You know, in my opinion, that sounds like a splendid idea. Way better solution and following my solution, you never get to experience this. Don't thank you, Christina. I appreciate that. Get this shit. I'm telling y'all, this shit fucking hurts. Don't get this shit for real. <laughs> Do not get this shit. Do you understand me? You are fine the way the fuck you are. This shit fucking hurts. Oh yeah, with the Nah, I'm telling you, man, like when my ex got that shit, the, the, the healing process is months. And then you're never really the same because basically what they do is they they slice 
your skin, they, they suck fat from like, your, your, your skin is connected to your muscles uh, on top of fat tissue. And so everything's like connected. So they strip it. They like strip it and disconnect your skin from your body. Then they fucking implant the fat into wherever it is that you want it. And then sometimes what they'll do is they'll sew your, your stomach muscles together so that you're a little bit thinner. Then they fucking sew you back together. But then during the healing process, like there's so much fluid buildup, you know what I'm saying? So like you have to drain your body of the fluid. So like they stick themselves. So you have to stick yourself and literally drain fluid out of your body all the time. Then you have to get all these massages to make sure that there aren't these like, you know, buildups of like fluid that gets hard. And, and it's just so much stuff that you have to do. And then a lot of the time it, get, it, it, it gets botched and it don't even look right, but it's just not even worth it. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's, it's just not, it really is not worth it to go through all of that. And then still on the other side, still have to live regular life. And the craziest thing about BBLs is they, they starting to go out of style because too many people got them now. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm 31 years old. I remember when I was, um, when I was very, when I was younger, like, you know, shit, like in elementary school, middle school, even, even like early high school, more of the, 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 the in bodies, like the hot, like bodies were like women who were more thin and maybe bigger chested. And then it, and then it completely, um, you know, flipped and, and became more like, um, Afrocentric body types and, and, and then BBLs and stuff. But now that it's like so common, um, it's it, just like anything else. It, it's a trend. You feel me? So yeah, definitely appreciate and love the body that you got because you know if you take if you take good care of yourself and, and you got somebody that loves you, you know what I'm saying? And, and y'all sex is amazing. What the fuck difference do it make? I've had sex with women who have BBLs and like that doesn't mean the sex is going to be better. And more importantly, it doesn't mean that they're going to be that y'all are going to work together. You feel me? Like, so it is not worth it. But yeah, no, she was not lying. I have personal experience seeing that shit. She is not lying. That that shit is crazy. Women go through so much pain doing that shit. Uh, the casualty rate, there's a chance you might get botched. Ended up having botched booties as well. Say hello to beauty filters. Is it low self-esteem issues or confidence issues or to deceive? Beauty filters are filled with their own problems as well. These filters on social media, they're known to emphasize our facial features, such as lighter eyes, a smaller nose, and flushed cheeks. Others, they change their face completely by getting rid of every pore, making their lips bigger, or changing the shapes of their eyes. As I'm in the midst of applying for residency right now, wish me luck, Grammarly has again been a lifesaver with my application so confused because i saw a few people and, and again like we started like we started this off with you know you can get so caught up into what you are not when these people ain't that either you feel me surgery not just on the body but on the face and again like in and of itself it, you can do what you want but again it's it's just if it's not real then it's not real you you, you know like so again it's just more really appreciate yourself love yourself like there are so many fantastic, amazing, unique things about each and every one of us that nobody else can replicate. And it's up to each and every one of us to, to find that and, and, to, and, and, to, and to nurture it and to grow it and, and, and to invest in it. You know what I'm saying? You know, just because you go get a surgery and look like this and then again, the face filters and all of that, like, so what, man? And especially young men get, so, get really caught up in that too. Not just young women going through that, but young men getting caught up in some idea what they think is an ideal woman that they're never going to have <laughs> you know like you get these women and it's like eventually the makeup's going to have to come off and they're they're real people they're people you feel me they're not they're not trophies and things for you to obtain using this filter and i didn't realize that they didn't look like this i just liked the colors of the filter so i was like oh i'm gonna use it and then i put it on my face this is not my face this is my face this is also not my face. And what's confusing is that when I see it on other people whose faces I don't know like mine, I think that is their face. And then I judge this face because it's not this face. What bugs me about filters is the effect it has on you 
And another thing, influencers that promote skincare products to their followers and while they're promoting it, they use these skin filters to smooth out their face to make it seem like it's the product doing that job. Basically manipulating their fans into buying the sponsored products. It's Khloe Kardashian on makeup ah. and filters. Then on the right is the real Khloe Kardashian. This right here is the power of makeup and filters. For example, the TikTok skinny filter makes the face look skinnier. While Instagram's perfect face filter adjusts your facial features according to whatever ratio you want. A study explored the negative effects of filters on mental health. 175 Hello, Mike. Were tested. Good, good point, Kevin, and salute to you as well, Mike. Appreciate you for being here. In the age range of 18 to 30 years old, majority of them being 20 and 21. This study also found out what filter everyone uses the most. From that study, the filters used the most were skin tone filters, filters that brighten the skin, whiten the teeth, and- Fact, Facts, Bernie fan, and look, 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 and any real man that has some experience knows, you feel me? Like, what, what's more important, some, some Barbie doll looking woman or, or, you know, like, everyone has imperfections, everyone's average, as long as that woman loves you and fucks your brains out, I'll, that's really what matters, you feel me? Love me, love me, and love me some more, you feel me? That's really what matters. Uh, all that other shit really don't mean nothing. And took off some weight. In that study, 94% of girls said they felt under pressure to present themselves a particular way on social media. 86% of the girls said their social media did not reflect their real life. Just to briefly explain how crazy filters have gotten, people are taking their filtered photos to surgeons and they're telling these surgeons, this is what I want to look like when the surgery is done. Very hard pill to swallow. The good of social media. More of the story, don't get too involved in social media. You know, it's a rabbit hole of low confidence, self-comparison, and body dysmorphia. Social media is not entirely bad. You can either use social media to help yourself or to damage yourself. Use it with caution and care. I myself learn a lot of great things from social media. It's a great tool. You just have to decide what you do with the tool. Don't go cold turkey, you know, just uh, consume less and less of social media that's the point of me making these videos if you look at my instagram i don't follow anybody i've never had a conversation with in real life if you want a life free of comparison from the things you see on social media celebrities unfollow them celebrity gossip pages unfollow all of them anybody you've never had a conversation with in real life unfollow them if you love my videos, follow me. I'm not a celebrity <laughs> yet. To close out this video, you know, if this is the effect of social media and social media is very young, then what more of an effect would we suffer 50? I, I thought he did a really good job, uh, you know, just running through, running through that list. But yes, I thought that was, I thought that was appropriate for us to close out. You know what I'm saying? Um, because again, we can get so, it, it, all of us, any of us, no matter, how authentic we are, no matter how strong we are, it can be quite easy to get caught up in, in advertisement, basically. Because it's all around us all the time. And at the end of the day, you know, repetition does its thing. But now I have to eat. I am hungry.